It's a it's a who will be eligible. It's a why the goal of the program is to bring black and Hispanic borrowers closer to home ownership. People of all races can qualify for the community affordable loan solution. Eligibility will be based on income and the location of the property. It will also use credit guidelines based on factors such as timely rent, utility bill, phone and auto insurance payments to determine credit worthiness, though there is no minimum credit score requirement. So you hear that? Yeah, man. That's it. That shit. Like you said, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I say this too, though, Lee. It's like they, it's like, this is why I say I feel like it's for the good too because it's like, I mean, I don't know. It's got its pros and its cons because it's not like these requirements are hard to meet, but it's like they're targeting a certain nigga, a certain bro, caliber of nigga. And that's my issue. That's my issue. They're targeting a certain cat. They targeting you know they. they what? It's me, it's me and you. Yeah, <laughs> me and you. <laughs> they targeting a certain kind of nigga like me and you. That's what I'm saying. Like they are. Because, 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 because what? Man, them niggas. Man, they don't even know what a trade line is. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, they don't even know how to pull up their credit score. Ain't bro, seen it. Bro, man, wait, wait. Just, just Dude, hoping it's good. Like, like, you're right, like, bro, you're right, FICO down on a piece of paper. They'll be like, F-I-C-O. What that mean? Like, yeah, what's that? Like, niggas. They'll be like, they'll be like, they'll be like, Yeah, nigga may think you, you talking about some, 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 uh, some law shit. Yeah, yo, no, that's what It's like, what that mean? Man, man. But right, and but but it but it it rolled back to man. They don't teach this, and if you do learn it, you gonna have to learn through your people. You know. To figure it out. Test trial. You see what I'm saying? But as far as well, it seemed like it's kind of like a, it seemed like it's kind of like a test run right now, Lee, with the different cities. Because if you're reading the article, they're stating that, you know, it's gonna be, you know, they may extend to, you know, different cities, you know, like smaller cities, so to speak. Let's say, you know, they may do New Orleans, but then they may break down and do, you know, Shreveport, Baton Rouge later on, you know. But uh, you you know, black cities, you know. To kind of target, you know, who they they saying, but I'm glad they ain't say minorities because that are, people don't understand that minorities. When somebody call you a minority, that means that you don't you you don't know how to act or think, um, and you need assistance, you know, from someone or something else to um, enable to 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 um, sustain yourself or whatever. Yeah, that's what minority is, and nigga, I know I can think for myself. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of other people can too. But yeah, I feel like I feel like it's it's good, you know, especially if they're letting you choose where you can put your home. But my question would be, you know, what what are uh, well like it said, it says certain areas because it said it's not gonna be based off your credit score, but it's gonna be based off of, you know, your uh your payments, if you had any late payments, uh 
certain credentials like you, where your zip code is, so to speak. So it's kind of just like I told you, it's kind of like credit card redlining. Like, like I say, they're not gonna. I just, I just can't see them letting you build in a in an area that's not gonna be uh, thriving or beneficial in the future for you. Especially with the bank, you know, giving you the loan behind it. I, I feel like, I feel like. They're not gonna go for that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Which I can understand. People want to live where they want to live, but I mean, you gotta look at the bank is protecting themselves and their best interest too. Hold on, let me go to it right quick because I was the looking bad, at it. Okay, it says it says why the goal. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. The last stipulation, the last stipulation on the qualification said get up to. First of all, that's another thing that people don't understand too. Like ten thousand is the max. Ten thousand is not the starting point. So it says get up to ten thousand in assistance that goes towards a down payment and closing costs, right? Hold on, that's the first one. Hold on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I got that from our Facebook. I don't know who the fuck did that shit. Somebody claimed that's what they did. I don't know if they actually did it or not. But I mean, it sounded like it was pretty legit. But I was trying to look up them qualifications. But I'm on. I was on Bank of America website trying to find it. But I guess you do would have to go in the bank and actually get that type of information. And I mean. It makes sense. I mean, if I were to do the loan, I would have those type of uh, requirements too, and qualifications. Shit, it makes sense. But yeah, I just put that out there for my followers to uh, see what they thought about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see what they thought about it. A lot of them think it's a it's a, it's a trap, so to speak. I don't know what. I mean, I feel like any, if anything is a trap, you entrapping yourself because you walking into a no, blind man shuffling. And, that, and, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. It's like first of all. It don't. Never. And it don't supposed to go like that. You supposed to be able to stand on your own and, and use your own mind and and you know, you are your own person. You like like I say, that's why they call us minorities. They feel as though that we can't think for ourselves. So they have to step in and assist us. You feel what I'm saying? We do. Africa, nigga, we get nigga. Africa, like, 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 the, like the African American GDP is higher than the motherfucking whole country, whole continent of Africa. And Africa is the biggest fucking continent on the fucking planet. On the planet. So, are you, so what's it? So what's it? And you think about like jet life. And then, and, then, and then what do they classify us as? Like a minority, minority in one state. Minority in one sense is what you're saying. And minority in another sense, like, is just the lamest terms of you just not the majority. Just simple. Like, so once again, so if we in a place to where they... Yeah, in the like, lamest terms, yeah. Like right? you say, so, the lamest terms. So, so they feel like, so they feel like, so they feel like we need help and we need assistance, right? And on top of that, we ain't the majority. But we got so much person, we got, we got more person power. Like, it just show you, it just be like, hey, bro. Y'all niggas tricking yourself. So the niggas who play, and, and the thing about it, if you feel like it's a, because me personally, I feel like I feel like it's a trap too. So even if I feel like it's a trap, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna allow myself to get trapped by it. Hey, did you read this part where it was saying like, is Bank of America's new zero down mortgage worth it? It says home buying is a is a notoriously expensive process and has gotten even more costly as property values has increased over the years when you consider a modest five percent down payment, lender fees which can run you up to one percent of the home's value and closing costs, which can be as high as six percent of the loan's value. Buyers can pay close to forty six 
thousand eight hundred up front for a four hundred thousand dollar home. Stop, 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 stop. I'm glad you said that because that was my next point. Definitely. So it's intimidating. If you don't know nothing about it. It's a house on on the on the main strip on the main street right there. Before you used to turn on Montgomery and Ben, like let's say you going to going to my crib, boy, nigga, you know that house is one hundred thirty six thousand dollars. Them houses right there, that's just one that they were selling. One hundred thirty six thousand dollars. They ain't even no shotgun house. Like you know, they brick homes, you know, but they like two, maybe three bedroom, but they definitely. No, 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 listen, listen. Let's say you come to the light right there in Benton where, you know, like you finna go to my crib. Yes, yes, like on the on the main street, like in front of Pine Hill. No, 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 no. I ain't talking about the dollar store. No, I'm saying turn at the light. I'm saying turn at the light right there like you finna go to Ben Elementary. And you know the front strip, the front strip right there, the front strip of Pine Hill... Those homes on the front strip right there, them hundred hundred, them average hundred fifty thousand dollar homes, it, due to the market of right now, and they ain't and they ain't like I I know this house, this house was, I think it had, like point seven five seven four of an acre, to, to go with it. And then and then and then and then that motherfucker probably eighteen hundred square foot house. Yeah, I had the picture in my phone. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me. I had it right here. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you the exact uh, numbers on it. So why you? So so why you looking it up? That's what I'm gonna say too. So with that being said, you can't have it. Like so once again, even even then, right? So even once again, but once again, who 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 gonna want to move the bed? You feel what I'm saying? So, so but nah, but nah. Think about it though. No, Everybody no, no, moving no, no. the bedding though. No, no, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not. I, I'm not speaking about. I'm not speaking about. What we see, I'm speaking about like what we see, and, and you gotta incorporate it with the plan that we're talking about. That's okay. why they say because if you because if, if you look at it not to be like that, like like what you just said, you're trying to help motherfuckers out, right? You're trying to help motherfuckers out. Where are you gonna do this at? You need to do this shit in Mississippi. You need to do this shit in Louisiana. You need to do this shit in Missouri. You need to do this shit where it's predominantly motherfucking African American people, like throughout the state. 
Oh you know yeah, definitely, like, definitely. That's what you need to do, but not that, 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 But if you think about it, it's a lot of niggas in them cities that they that they right, pinpoint too. That's what. That, hold on, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna say, right? It is not only. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait for it. Not only is it niggas in those cities, when you talk about But not collectively. Not collectively. Okay. So, so what I mean by money getting niggas, it's it's areas for people to make money. The issue, the issue I have with, with Louisiana, Louisiana, you can't bring nothing to Louisiana. You know why? Because niggas ain't making no fucking money in Louisiana. They not. So, 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 so and, and that's what I mean. So, 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 so what I mean by money getting niggas. When you say Detroit, right? Detroit. Detroit has been like they talk about the water, they talk about like how, how, how all the fucking factory workers and all that shit, right? Boom, boom, boom. But at the end of the day, Detroit still Detroit. Detroit still, Detroit still got a major basketball team. Detroit still got a major football team. They do. Detroit still got you know, see what I mean? Like that. So so that's what I mean by it. it's still ways for you to create jobs. It's still ways for you to create that revenue flow to where now you can propose that idea and and, and this is what I mean by they set people up to, 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 I feel like they set people up to get fucked because you set that up in them cities, right? <laughs> Guess what you do? <laughs> and I see it down here. <laughs> like, Section 8 apartments down here, they don't all look run down. They don't. <laughs> but what they, because once again, they do this. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You not and you you got a cap you got a cap on on how much money you can make when you got houses on Section Eight that you you know what I'm saying you making money off of from the state the state gonna put a cap on you. I do. But you can't reap no benefits from no sole proprietorship. I keep telling people that. People say, oh, I'm going to go get my DBA. I'm going to go get my uh, my sole proprietor. Like, I'm not saying, man, look, go ahead, spend that money, and get your LLC. Because you can't reap no tax benefits off that.
dumb yourself down and you gotta be that same motherfucker who think of self proprietorship is actually the best way to go. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like I feel I feel I, I feel like basically what this plan is, me and you see what the like me and you see like, hey bro, you know what? Instead of me paying this sixty dollars and setting me up a sole proprietorship, let me go ahead, since I'm in Texas, I'm gonna go ahead and wait a month or two, save up me about a couple hundred to go ahead and pay that money because it's gonna help me on the long end. Like that's the way me and you thinking now. And, and me and you think, I mean you thinking that way because we thinking like, okay, the house market gonna do that. But that's not. I'm telling you, yeah, that nigga's gonna fuck the situation up, bro. Like they gonna come like. But hold on, but let, but let me write this down to what we just talked about. But I wanna, I wanna touch this conversation back tomorrow. So we talked about so MLC, so proprietorships. No, no, nigga, we talking about this, this, this house. Oh, you walking everything down? No, no, no. I, I'm just saying. I just said that once again, just trying to help motherfuckers see, like, you know, once again, like, oh, oh shit, I was one of them niggas who got a so You know, and that, that, once again, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, my thought process, just to be like, why in the fuck did I talk about LLCs and no proprietorship? And I was like, oh, just because I was talking about the Section Eight housing and all that shit, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, but see, this is why I say our people need to be. We need to, we just like we got trainers for basketball, football, basketball, et cetera, nigga, you need to be training for what you heading into. Like, motherfuckers be wanting to go get a house and shit, trying to just uh, impress other people on Facebook, Instagram and shit. Oh, I'm a homeowner. Listen, if you're paying mortgage, you don't own the home. If you're paying mortgage, you don't own the home. And most of these people, on the average, most people go and get a home around 30 35 years old and they get a 30 year fixed fixed year, fixed mortgage and mortgage means pledge play a pledge too so basically you're pledging to yeah 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 mortgage means a pledge to death so your well, mortgage means death so you're pledging to death basically yeah mortuary mortgage is all the same so it's like nigga, you pledging to death so and on top of that so if you're 30 and you go and get you a 30-year fixed mortgage, nigga, you're going to be damn near 60 by the time you possibly pay it off if nothing don't happen in between the time where your ass dropped the ball and you feel what I'm saying? Or some, yeah, or in, in the worst case, you die. Or you feel what I'm saying? You know, and your life expectancy is like 72 years old. So you end up paying the house off when you're damn near dead. So you pledging the debt. I can't, I can't pay, I can't pay nobody but myself 30 years. I'm the only motherfucker that I'm going to pay for 30 years. Exactly. And I feel like, bro, that's why I say you, you want to attack it with the approach of an investor, so to speak. Like, if you're going to get this program into this home, I'll look at it to, to be like, well, okay, what's going to be the contract with this? Um, how many, um, you know, uh, the, the years as far as the mortgage lease, let me see what's the best one for me. You know, uh, would I want to possibly, where would I put this home? Do I want to put it in an area where I feel like I'm going to get some equity out of it if I plan to move? You know? And, you know, that's why I say if, you know, but you was right on the the area part when you was talking about, you know, them white folks, they're not finna go, you know, you know, let you get in that. Well, I mean, not saying that they won't, but they may want, they may, you know, set it up to where, hey, you may have to go over here and get your shit over here within a mixed community, so to speak. Or, um... Or, or or vice versa, but I say on the flip side, even if they do make us, you know, get it, get it, do get homes in our areas and neighborhoods and stuff like that. I feel like that's empowering in in a, in a, in, a, in a way. But you know, you just gotta make sure that's where you want to stay in. You know, have it set up in your best interest. And I feel like it's good in this sense that they're making people take this course to get a full understanding of what they could be getting into. But while you're taking the application process, while you're doing the application process, you got to take this course. So see, and, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and there you go. See that? See, see, and that be that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like that be that little gray area that that niggas like. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like reading and comprehension. Niggas, niggas don't respect. Let alone niggas don't know how to read and comprehend what the fuck they just read. Like exactly. Niggas don't, read shit. Like, niggas don't know. So like you niggas just be it, reading but, words. <laughs> or or listening or 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 hearing, yeah, or hearing a motherfucker talking, not listening to him. That's why I like to say at work, at work, at work, two things, two things that we 
strip at work is active listening and also and, and also doing your due diligence. You feel what I'm saying? Due like, diligence. Y'all understand that we stress that shit a lot. So with that being said, niggas don't understand what due diligence mean, man. You gotta nah, break that down. Nah, for nah, 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 niggas, 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 niggas. Like you said, like, like what I said earlier, niggas don't know how to do no case study. Niggas don't know how to, like, say, well, you know, you do all that criminal justice shit. Niggas don't know how to go back, read some shit that already went down, try to dissect really what the fuck went down and how that shit played in the wood. And, man, niggas, niggas, once again, niggas don't even have... Man, man, niggas can't even get off Instagram. Niggas can't even Man, niggas can't get niggas can't put their phone down and sit here and focus on a certain man. subject for five minutes. A nigga a nigga couldn't even meditate for three minutes if you told him to meditate for three or five minutes. A nigga couldn't even close his eyes and just still. Nope. For three minutes if you told him to close his eyes. A lot a lot a lot of niggas can't. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Man. So niggas can't pay like attention. So just like what you just said with uh with the class, right? That's the gray area. Like they said, you gotta take the class while you're doing the application process. Like it ain't like it ain't like it ain't it ain't like the class is a prerequisite. The class is a ro- the, the class is a co-requisite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but see, like, oh no, they telling you like, oh, why are you doing like once again your pledge to do this process? Why would right? like if you want to be a part of this program, you got to do all these stipulations. You know, so for instance, like imagine that person like for instance, like me. Let's just say, let's just say they tell me that I don't qualify, right? And the reason why I don't qualify is because I took a home buyer's course before. Like, imagine, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they say little shit like that because it's about, it's like, it's about control. It's about, like, it's like the book of Eli. I feel like life, I feel like life is just like the book of Eli. When that nigga did this and that Bible that was in Brim. And and the nigga and the nigga who was running that town with the blind chick with the shampoo and all that other shit, like the reason the reason why he said he said he said something very prolific. He was like, I need to find the book because because if they had niggas going out trying to find a book, you didn't know what book he was trying to find. He was trying to find the Bible, and he realized that Denzel had the Bible. The only reason why he knew Denzel had the Bible was the way that Denzel spoke, and they was in like lost times. So the nigga said, if it's written, because the nigga was like, why do you, like, the, the, the head hunter that was going to go find the book, like, the head cooler, he was like, man, why you want to keep finding, all these, like, find this one damn book, man, like, fuck, I done bought you back thousands and thousands of books, like, why the fuck you don't want this one book? He was like, man, because this book is important. And he said, if it's written, they'll believe it. And that right there was one of the most prolific things I have ever heard in my motherfucking life. Because I was like, wow, that's the Bible. Which is a lot of other shit in a lot of other situations. Man, just because a nigga wrote that shit down, a nigga believe it. But really, that ain't even the truth. Right, the truth is what you can make somebody believe. Well, and sometimes. Even, or even, or, 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 or even sometimes. And all I'm saying is like this right here. With the program, with the curriculum, with the curriculum, a motherfucker may be reading all these incentives and they see that shit written and they like that's wrong. Like this is what I do. Like, this is the way I gotta do it. This is what I gotta do. It. And niggas don't understand that. Like sometimes it ain't just black and white. It just ain't that paper and them letters. You know, like life is about shades of gray. You feel me? Like the gray area. So you gotta like, and you gotta be, and you gotta be. Like you said, you gotta be, like you gotta be able to read and comprehend and be able to fucking articulate yourself in those situations. Like you said, you this is what I told like myself. I, I, like you said. I told myself when I was 23. I said, man, look. I said, I'm 23. I said, I know one day I'm going to want to buy a house. I said, I know one day I'm going to want to, uh, you know, invest in something. Uh, you know, I don't want to be behind or dumbfounded when it comes time to be trying to do this or know absolutely nothing about it and get fucked. You feel what I'm saying? So, nigga, I took out the time, nigga. I dedicated hours and hours and hours of studying, nigga. Real estate. Understanding, you know, different terms, you know. I treated it just like school, you know. They ain't teaching this in school, so you got to sit yourself down at some point in time and really hone in on this information. 
and know it for yourself. You can't just go about what somebody else telling you. And that's the problem. Our, our people, bro, we listening to a lot of monkey see, monkey do as information. And we're not, and we're on Facebook listening to information that people are passing down. Just like the article that I, 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 um, I screenshot and posted. You know, somebody posted that, but who do who do who is we that, that know that those are actual facts that that's the credentials for for Bank of America? You know, I went on I went on the website and I couldn't find anything, but those are, I can't say that that, that 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 they're not there. But I mean, my thing is, you know, like I say, bro, we we we, we can't go into it to it blind man shuffling because if if you know what you know. And you uh you study what you finna go into, you know if you're being bullshit or not, cause you know what you, your your mindset already already know what you what you want out of it, cause you knowledge knowledgeable about it. So I just feel like if we if we if we educate ourselves enough on this whole situation, uh and 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 take the right approach and the best benefit of us, I feel like it it it, it, could, it could be a good thing. But if motherfuckers just you know, diving head first, just trying to go get in a home, you know, just to do like I told you, impress motherfuckers on Instagram, Facebook. Hey, I got the keys. Uh, I'm a homeowner. No, you're not. You're paying mortgage. Okay? <laughs> so, I mean, and I understand. Once again, once again, like I said, me and I said, when I write shit down, I'm writing that down. Like I said, so I can touch on I put on social media, Instagram, social media gratification. That that they want gratification. That's it. They're not doing things in the best interest for themselves. They're doing it in the best interest for their Facebook and social media friends. Yeah, they ain't. Once again, man, like, 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 and like I said, yeah, man, I swear, bro. That's why, like, that's why, that's why, man, I hold me. Cause I'm, I'm gonna be real, like, you and, uh, like, you and Cordy for sure. I, I like, you, yeah, yeah, you and Cordy for sure talk way more than, like, me and Cordy talk. What? Man, you and Cordy, like, I value y'all relationships, man, because, like, for real, like, when I look back on it, man, y'all real deal with, like, my first friends. I can't speak on if I was y'all niggas' first friend. I don't, I don't know. I don't really give a fuck all that. But when I think about me, like, when I met you and I met Cordy, like, y'all niggas was my first fucking friends, nigga. Like, I remember that. Like, oh, like, yeah. And it'd, be so, and it'd be so funny how LJ... Yeah, see now when you get older you can tell when he get a little older you can tell him, you know, the relationship between my brother and your older brother. <laughs> Turn up. Right. I could turn up for real, for real. Boy, I can go put that jury on and go hard. <laughs> but I ain't gonna do all that. Man, everything, bro. I just live a private life. You feel what I'm saying? I show people what I want to show them. You feel me? That's 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 your life, you know. Like social media ain't for everything. And then and then like and then like I said, even once again, like a nigga a nigga a nigga like I said a nigga may post like I said a nigga may post like my 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 view on my balcony. A nigga may but like I said a nigga don't like like you said we me and you both can go a lot harder than what the fuck we do, right? So with that being said, that's a real critical thing that you said earlier. You was like, man, I didn't want to be looking like a fool. Like, 
I like, like, that was for me. That wasn't for nobody else. Like, I didn't want to get to that point of me wanting to buy a house. And I'm around this bitch not understanding. Man, not understanding. It's 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 the it's the time and and you know research like niggas be on the phone all day every day you know and they have the nerve to go on a social media platform asking a question that they have for for themselves instead of asking the damn computer that's in their hand like it's just mind blowing bro niggas be asking like how you do this tell me more about this what about this. I'm like, bro, y'all got a phone just like I do. Just because I tell y'all about this stuff, that don't mean I'm the only nigga that know. I must learn it from somewhere. <laughs> like, or heard of it, or experienced it, something. Like, like, I be like, come on, man. She went off on you. Talking about counting financial pockets. I was like, huh? I say, I say, bro, I say, who pockets in my cash? I mean, I can see her standpoint from like, okay, well, no, you know, if no. you if you make up to a hundred and twenty some thousand, uh, you know, you don't get the loan forgiveness yeah. or whatever, you right, know. So, so hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, no, no, and, and I'm glad you said that. So, if, even if even if that's what you use for your for your fuel, who's paying that shit first? I'm really just repeating what the fuck the government, what fucking Joe Biden just fucking released. So, 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 I, I didn't say this shit. I just, I just didn't pull this out of my ass and say, a random ass thought, like, hey, bro, like, just hop in my phone and like, hey, y'all niggas who got a degree who ain't making that, man, y'all niggas broke. Like, I didn't say that shit. Nigga, I literally just repeated. So, so, once again, I'm with you. So, even I try, even I try to just play that, play God's advocate and be like, well, maybe she took that bad approach. But I'm still being like, first of all, and I thought I was like, first of all, I didn't say that. Like, I just really repeated what they said. Yeah. Uh, state, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm really living like 
Life. But you like, gotta look where you live at, though. Lee, what, what? If you, if you take, no, nah, no, nah, nigga, listen, nigga. If you, <laughs> if you was making, if you could, if you could work that same job and live in an area like, let's say, uh, Shreveport, or let's say even, um, uh, I would say somewhere like, uh, even Tyler, uh, even, um, uh, let's say, let's broaden it out a little bit. Baton Rouge, New yeah. Orleans, yeah, yeah. you'll be living yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You feel oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, no, I do say, I do say, but once again, see, but look, 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 and I'm glad you said that, bro, because look, 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 It's like it's like a it's like you getting it's like you getting a a, a bigger tank for a, for a little fish. Man, what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah. Now let me move up. See, see how, I, see how I make it in this big water. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. But like you said, with old girl, I don't mean cut you off. What you, what you, what, you, what, how did that, how did that press your button? Like, I don't get it. I mean, it got it. I mean, you must ain't, you must be doing the shit for the gram then, and you must ain't really got it. Since you, since, cause, cause, a, like I say, a hit dog is gonna holler. But, like I say, at the same time, Lee, us as black people, when we explain ourselves, we explain ourselves out of emotion instead of answering the question. Just ex just explaining yourself out of frustration, you done totally went all the way left for the conversation, and you jump straight to your emotion for an answer. Oh, we all do. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> No extra weight. Shouldn't get you in your feelings like that for you to reply right. that and way. Then, and, then, and then on top of that, you know, me and her with the me and her with the middle school together. Like yeah. she know me for like, like like we know each other from Gary, like we went to Shreve, like we know like bruh, like, you know, so so 
Yeah. Boy, I probably know yeah. who this is, but don't say her yeah. name though. Hey, look, no, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say her name because she the only she the only motherfucker in the city with this name. Her name Cherish. Oh no, nah, I don't know her. Bro, look, I swear to God, bro, her name like she the only motherfucker in the city named Cherish, bro. And I feel like that, like she ain't fine. Like I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna nothing. Like Cherish probably is fine and bad to a lot of other motherfuckers, but I've been knowing her so long, I know her attitude. 